Hi, Maria here. Welcome to my channel. Today I want to talk about fragrances that I wear if I'm feeling sad. So you know those days where you just wake up and you feel like ho-hum or you feel sad about something or a little bit feeling almost hopeless? Uh, these are the fragrances that I reach for. Now, maybe that seems silly, but the reality is, is that when I'm feeling like that, I use fragrance uh, to help. Like it's one of the reasons why I love fragrance is because of the way that it can change my mood or bring comfort or whatever. So uh, yeah, that's what I'm going to talk about. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to hit that button. Join the Weird and Wonderful family. It would be amazing to have you part of the community. And if you already are a part of the community, thank you so much. You guys are amazing. And without further ado... Let's get into this. So, you know, thinking about the past few years, a lot of people have had their own personal crises. I've talked about this before. So some people, you know, it's just the fear of uh, the unknown, the fear of uh, what, uh, what the pandemic brought. For some, the pandemic also brought not only a fear of, uh, you know, whether they would get sick or whether their loved ones would get sick, but also uh, affected them financially, affected them uh, with their mental health uh, in isolation or whatever. So there's all of that. Um, I definitely, definitely recognize, and we've discussed this before as a community, so many of us through the pandemic also experienced uh, major personal uh, stressors, challenges, uh, losses uh, that had nothing to do with COVID. Uh, honestly, a lot of death, uh, like things like death and divorce, so loss uh, was a major, major factor. So uh, although things may seem normal, a lot of times uh, things really aren't. Uh, it takes us a while to get over it. It takes us a while to get over it uh, not only as individuals, but as a society, because usually when there's stress, you know, things like financial stress in a marriage, what that'll do is it causes stress in the actual relationship. So with us, with a global stressor, it created stress in our relationships from our workplace to our family to, to just uh, associating with people created stress. So we come out of that and we're left with a slight, like we're left a lot of times with a bit of trauma and we don't even realize that that's what we have it can come across as ho-hum. It can come across as, you know, feeling kind of hopeless, or maybe there's something legitimately that you're sad about. So for me, uh, I experience all of that just like a normal human being. And although I like smile a lot and I do legitimately smile a lot, like I'm a smiley person. And honestly, I'm so thankful because I get to experience a lot of joy. Uh, I feel very blessed about the amount of joy that I do have in my life uh, because of the people that I have in my life, because of God, because of uh, the outlook that I feel like he's given me sometimes, like sometimes I'm just miserable, but I still get sad, like quite a lot. Like, so I, I'm a gentle hearted person and I get hurt easy and, uh, you know, just stuff like that. So I get sad for sure. So probably, probably at least a couple times a week, I feel really sad. Sometimes I'll feel sad for like a long time. And I wouldn't say I have depression. I can't even imagine uh, what it's like to deal with depression, like a full-on depression, but definitely have those times where I'm feeling sad, lackluster, a little Eeyore-ish. So I want to talk about fragrances that either boost my mood or comfort me. So sometimes I want a mood booster. I'm like, I want something that's cheery and uplifting and energizing to kind of pull me out of this. Sometimes sad isn't always bad. Like it's not always bad to be sad. Sometimes it's actually good because we're we're that way for a reason. You know, what is it that's gone on? Do I need to reflect? Do I need to mourn? So sometimes I want to be comforted uh, when I feel sad. So I want to talk about the fragrances that bring me comfort first and then the ones that I find energizing. So the first one that I find extremely comforting and grounding is Angel Muse by Mugler. Now, uh, this is like, <laughs> so many people, people consider this like a clubbing fragrance, uber sexy. I just find it so comforting. Um, I get a little bit of that chocolate Nutella feel from the chocolate in the hazelnut. 
but what I get is this beautiful kind of grapefruit note. And I believe that grapefruit is actually an essential oil that's really good for uplifting. So grapefruit, lime, fragrances like that, or essential oils like that are really, really great for uh, boosting the mood. So this has grapefruit, I think, on the opening. Maybe lemon, but I think grapefruit. Uh, anyway, uh, I get that grapefruit. I get the nut and the, the chocolate a little bit, but I also get the beautiful patchouli and the patchouli in this smells almost tea-like. So it has kind of a spa-like feel to me. Uh, I find it very grounding, very relaxing, very warm, very uh, just somehow it makes me feel settled in my being when I put this on. So this is a fragrance. If I wear this to bed, even though it's a powerhouse, if I were to wear this to bed, I would usually, uh, I'll usually find that I have a good sleep. Uh, so really, really like this. I, it's discontinued and it's uber pricey right now. Uh, sometimes the price goes down on it, but I really, really love this. I've got the EDT as well. The EDP would be my preference, uh, but they're both really, really great. But this is the one, uh, you know, even in the summer, if I'm feeling kind of like just down in the dumps, this would be one I'd reach for, for that comfort factor. Another one that I feel is just like a big warm hug is Girl of Now Shine. I, I chose this one over Girl of Now. Girl of Now would work similar, uh, but this has pineapple in it, uh, as well as the pistachio, the almond, the orange blossom. It's just soft, it's, uh, it's soft, it's gentle, it's sweet. Uh, there's a warmth in it. Uh, the pineapple is kind of a juicy cooked pie pineapple. Uh, it feels slightly solar. I think there might be Langy Lang actually in this one as well. So there's a slight solar feel to this. Uh, but I've worn this a like so sometimes for doctor's appointments, I want to be classy. Other times I want to feel comfort. Uh, and so this would be one that I've worn. Uh, to the doctor's office for that reason, because I find it very, just, I, it feels safe. Like, I feel like I put a blanket on and getting hugged by something. Like if I, you know, just thinking about needing a blankie, uh, you know, getting all cozy, kind of almost hibernating, this would be a great fragrance for that. Another fragrance that I found that I reach for if I'm feeling kind of ho-hum down in the dumps is honestly um, Lyra by Zerjoff. Now this one, I've said it before, it smells like a smoky lemon pound cake. Uh, this one I find quite sexy. There's actually lavender in here. I don't get it. There's no lemon in this. I don't know why it smells like a smoky lemon pound, pound cake. I think there's orange, maybe bergamot in this. Uh, I just love it. It smells gourmand. It smells a little bit cakey to me. Like I said, lemon pound cake. Uh, but I, again, it's, it gives me that same feel of hibernation or like wrapping myself in something delicious, eating something sometimes, you know, when you're down in the dumps, eating something sensual, uh, like eating something cakey, uh, kind of brings comfort. So rather than eating something cakey, I would put on something that's cakey. And this one is just absolutely beautiful. Now, the next fragrance uh, that I wear when I feel sad is Mont Guerlain by Guerlain. All three of the last fragrances had a, a major gourmand property to them. Chocolate hazelnut, a lot of nuts in there. So chocolate hazelnut and muse, pistachio and almonds and pineapple and girl of now. And then uh, kind of that lemon pound cake feel in Lyra. Uh, this doesn't smell gourmand to me. So this is more floral uh, with that lavender in it. It's a sweet floral. There's, I think, a bit of bergamot on the top. It's, I would say, rose-centric. Uh, but there's, um, I think there's like jasmine in here as well. There's iris. Uh, so a mixture of florals. But the rose would probably be the predominant. But still kind of a nice blend. The lavender definitely comes out in this one. There's also licorice in this one. Uh, but it feels a lot more like, uh, you know, your straight up kind of perfume, pretty sweet, delicious perfume, but the lavender is really what makes me feel grounded. I think the other thing, uh, is this brings me comfort as far as memories. So I've said before, uh, lavender really reminds me of my mom. 
uh, she had a, a lavender yardly powder and I would always go into her medicine cabinet and pull off the lid and sniff it. She had a yardly lavender soap. She always loved English lavender. So, uh, you know, I kind of got used to that lavender idea. At, at like, so lavender was associated with my mom, which she's always been a, a comfort factor in my life. Uh, but then uh, when I had my son, I bought this, um, I wanted to do massages after baths on him as a, an infant. And so the oil, the baby oil that I got had lavender in it. And it was just the most beautiful smelling lavender oil. Uh, so I would give him a massage using this oil and he always smelled like lavender. So now, uh, so lavender was associated with my mom and now it's associated with being a mom. Being a mom literally fills my heart up so much. First of all, I love my son so much. I was not able to have children naturally, so I got to adopt him and I never thought I'd get to be a mom. And so being a mom to him is literally the most amazing thing. It's something I've never taken for granted because I didn't think I'd get to do it. Uh, so it's one of those massive gifts in life. So sometimes, now I'm starting to cry again. Oh, I'm hopeless. Uh, you know, sometimes when I'm sad, I want to be reminded of something good. And so this fragrance does that. This, this fragrance, I find it so relaxing because of the lavender, but the lavender always reminds me of the good things of life. Um, you know, I've had really great experiences going to like a lavender farm in Kelowna and getting to smell the beautiful lavender field. I want to go to Paris at springtime when the lavender blooms, uh, just so that I can experience it and smell it and see it. So sometimes I want to be comforted. Sometimes when I'm sad, I want to be reminded of the things to be grateful for, uh, to help me. So that would be Mon Guerlain. Now, sometimes when I'm feeling sad, I don't need to reflect. Like sometimes I think it's really important when you're sad to actually reflect. Why am I sad? Work through it. I don't want to just press things down. So if I don't want to get out of that sadness, but just experience some comfort as I work through things, I go with the comforting fragrances. If I'm sad because I'm kind of in a bad mood or whatever, or upset about something, and I need to be reminded of something good, Mon Guerlain works. But sometimes I'm sad and I just need to get out of it. I need to to shift mindsets and get into something happy. And if I have to have to do that, I'm going to choose Lancome's Idole Nectar. Seriously, this is the happiest fragrance I have right now. I am so in love with this fragrance. It's so juicy. It's definitely rose centric. So you get like a ton of rose in the opening, but there is a peony feel to it because it's such a sweet rose. There's also vanilla, popcorn, and caramel in this. So it smells like a party in a bottle. When you put it on the skin, it smells so juicy and vivacious and amazing. Yes, it's rose, but with all those other notes on it, it smells like a celebration. I feel like I'm at some sort of, you know, some sort of fiesta, having a party, dancing away, smelling amazing, hanging out with awesome people, having delicious food. Like this is a party in a bottle to me, a happy party. <laughs> A celebratory party. It's my kind of party. And it is Edole Nectar. Seriously, I don't know what it is about this, but it's super, super mood boosting for me. <laughs> so those are my fragrances. Thinking about why we're sad. Sometimes we're sad for good reason. I don't ever want to run from being sad. I don't want to ever run actually from any of my emotions because they're there for a reason. So I'm, it, it may not be a great reason, but it, working through it helps me become a better person. So I'm not going to shy away from feeling sad. I want to own the feelings and I want to walk through that. Uh, and I want to be kind to myself. But sometimes, yeah, I want comfort as I do that. Other times I'm sad because I'm focusing on the wrong things. I want to think of something positive and uh, something I'm grateful for to help me get out of it. And then other times I just need to make a major shift. This one time I was so down in the dumps and, and Troy said, have you taken any time to be grateful at all? And I realized I hadn't. So I just went, okay. I'm I'm done with the I'm done with the sad for today. I'm going to focus on everything positive. So sometimes that's great. Sometimes we need to embrace the sad. 
whatever you need. You'll find it in these fragrances, I'm telling you. They help me, like seriously, they do help me. What about you? What are the fragrances that you turn to when you're kind of in the doldrums, a little bit sad? What's your favorites? Please weigh in in the comments. And other than that, I hope you have an amazing week and we'll talk to you soon.